the law, it gives me confidence, if you know what I mean. And I, I've not, because I've not looked into the methods, I wouldn't feel confident using them. I just really sort of fell in love with this method, yeah. shall we say. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I do think there's more than one way for skill to skin the cat, but there's a lot of misinformation about the Magna Carta at the moment, and I think that's bullshit as well. I mean, someone was on my bloody page today talking about Magna Carta oh, 2020. How can it be? A, how can there be a law for this year? We've, we've not even voted for. No, no. I don't understand. <laughs> um, you, you can't. You just can't it. don't don't take her word for it. Don't take my word for it. Do what feels right for you. The Magna Carta felt right for me, but I've also now know all these different jurisdictions and I've playing them all to my advantage. So you know, do what works right for you, for you. But also you've got to hold them account for committed treason. Do <laughs> you agree with that with you? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, it's yeah. not just that. We should have, say, in the rules that we're governed by, an Article 61 no. gives, gives us the um, ability to effect wide scale change whilst working Absolutely. within the law. I mean, it, it is the law that was created, you know, to, to sort of rise up against a political ruler. And we definitely have, uh, you know, governments that are full of not just our government but across the world yeah. that are full of tyrannical rulers. You know, we're ne we're, we've nearly lost all our rights, we're, we're about to be fully enslaved in a way that we never have been before. And you know, this law gives us is the law that was made to deal with that situation, which, which is what I'm bothered about. I've always thought that we should have a say in the rules that we're governed by, and I, I couldn't figure out how we'd got into this state where you know a small group of elite people owned all the wealth and made all the decisions and were in control of <laughs> our country and I thought so why why do I get to vote people in into parliament who I don't even want to run the country in the first place but yet I don't even get a, a, to vote on the laws that that I have to live by and that I don't get a say in the way that my country is run and I couldn't figure it out and then I started learning about the Magna Carta in Article 61 and the way that we should have been governed when it all worked properly. And it was like, oh, oh, so I should have had a say all along. I should have had a say in the rules that we were governed by. So that, that's, that's what spoke to me, that, that there is actually, we did have a very good system in place that worked very, very well at one point. And that, that we do have the chance to be able to restore the system to it, its former glory and to re address the balance of power, you know in the system if you know what i mean so to re-establish the power yeah i mean is everybody, is everybody pretty does everyone join the practical law for dissent have you got a basis of the understanding of mm -hmm. what the magna carta is or should we just start in the beginning i mean can i can i ask a quick question yeah. Obviously, I'm on the practical law, lawful descent, etc. And I've gone done my oath, but sent off the police and the courts and everything. Um, but what about this common law court? Because everybody seems saying that we should use that as well. I, 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 don't, I personally, I don't rate them for a number of reasons. Um, we, you know, we did, we didn't, I know, we did used to sort of recommend getting their paperwork, but not really anything else. But then we. Were, yeah getting okay. sort of hundreds of complaints from across the Commonwealth about them. Um, <laughs> people were receiving things that they paid for and that they paid a lot of money mm. for. And it's like, as far as I know, their paperwork's not even accepted anywhere anyway. So it's sort of a bit pointless. Oh, really? Uh, I don't, well, I don't think so. I mean, why, why would okay. it be? Do you know what I mean? It's, wouldn't, wouldn't it just be considered fraudulent? Wouldn't they just consider it? fraudulent I don't really know I, I don't know that it's collected anywhere but then they started promoting this fake king have you heard of the fake king Hallett that guy mm. who calls himself the king mm -hmm. well, they're promoting him and making you him mean the mad king yeah. the mad <laughs> king I just, yeah, I just saw the Facebook Joseph page Stuart and I was like, he was asking for money. He was asking for money. I was like, if yeah. the king's asking for money on a Facebook page, yes. come on, what planet are people living on? But, um, <laughs> I, I, I just thought he was some sort of a distraction, you know, from people who were right. trying to do good things like our group. And I even, at the time, I assumed he, because he was getting stuff from the common law court, that he was just, you know, trying to make people denounce them by being associated with some loony <laughs> himself the king but then they started promoting him which was quite worrying and it, it's like the, the thing that's bothered me the most about them is that they then started coming on the group and harassing us like us admins to work with common law or use their logo promote the fake king all that sort of thing and, and they, they were relentless we had them for like you know 
it was every few days somebody was on trying to hassle us and when we refused to work with them because they're not dealing with trees and you see it's like you know, they might be sort of getting the but they're not dealing with what we need to deal with those crimes. So, um, yeah, so they, they basically became quite slanderous to, you know, they were became aggressive and slanderous. We've just had to completely say that we won't allow anything about the common law court now to be posted on the group at all. So, you know, I, they, they seem to be sort of using fear tactics on, on their site, it, you know, and okay. that, creating that us and them sort of thing. And, and yeah, but it's scaring people into getting their paperwork. I mean, I've had people really upset by them because their names are searchable. If you put in your name, having signed up with Common Law Court, and put in your name and Common Law Court, mm -hmm. you'll find your details. Jenny, I found your details. Because um, I'd looked for people because I just stumbled across it by accident. Um, it, and I, so I just thought, started searching for people who I knew had signed up. Yeah, and if you just put their first name followed by common law court, it'll give you, you all the full name, part of your address, yeah. maybe what card you drive if you've registered. I, I signed up. I signed up before I realised it was a load of bollocks. And then yeah. I yeah. 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 I, I, I signed, saw the fucking king thing. I, I, I signed like, my lucky stars. <laughs> I didn't sign up with them. I really do because yeah. I nearly did at one point. And when I went on, I just thought, wait a minute. Who says internet also? I found them. Why, why do they want all that information about me, like enough to break into my bank account or to steal my identity? And I thought there's something a bit suspicious about this. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, you know, yeah, don't we, we don't need yeah. to be registered anywhere as sovereigns. No. We don't actually need to be registered anywhere. You only really need to be registered for commercial purposes and business. It's like your car should only be registered and you should only need a license for commercial purposes, not just to go about your day-to-day -day business. There's, you don't need to be registered anywhere, you know, under common law. Oh. No, thank, thank you for that. I appreciate your, your, your candor on it. Do you know what? I did I tell you? My life. I, I, had, I had a friend. I had a friend who got. I had a friend who got pulled over a couple of weeks ago by the police, <coughs> and they said, "Can we? Um, who owns this car? I don't think he had insurance or something, or he didn't have something." And they said, "Who owns the car?" And he went, "The DVLA." And you let him go. Yeah, that's true, actually. Because it's the Yeah, they know what to do. Yeah, it's not your car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clever bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah, got that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so someone just said start from the beginning. So there's some more people. Mm. I think basically what you've got to understand is everything you've ever ever learned <laughs> is bullshit. Relearn everything. Relearn the world again. Um, and then there's a system that's we're born into, which is completely fraudulent and used to trick us to get money out of us and tax and fight us, and it's completely <laughs> bullshit. But I've been, I only, well, I met you in June, so I was, I was indoctrinated into the system up until early this year, and I just knew the lockdown was wrong, and then I've, I've worked in the media in the past as well, so I've been in all the thick of it, knew probably something wasn't quite right, and then lockdown happened, which made me go searching for answers, and then realized my whole life has been a sham. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking lie, but it, this makes more sense to me than anything the government's putting out there or anything like that. Um, but I'm learning all different jurisdictions, everything. I'm learning all sorts of laws, different things to beset myself. Um, the council tax one, not paid since February. No one's chasing me either, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, like, you'll, you'll, you want to talk about the. You yeah, totally have Article I mean, 61. Well, so <laughs> let's start from the beginning, like the Magna Carta, because I, if, you, if you'd if have spoke to me a few months ago and said to be preaching about an ancient law from fucking 13th century, I would have fucking... <laughs> yeah, right. have been, Fuck off. Like, <laughs> come on. Um, but honestly, I, there's something in it, definitely, because I wrote to the council, wrote to the MPs, I've wrote to the courts, the police, Boris, and nobody's responding. Nobody's saying it's a load of bollocks. Nobody's saying... It's not still an effect, Article 61, the security clause. Nobody's, we're, we're practically begging them to say it's wrong, prove us wrong, and that nobody's responding. And that's just a bit <clears throat> incriminating in itself. It should be simple, yeah, shouldn't it? Just, if, it like, if it was never in existence, I mean, they try and claim it's not in existence, but because they try and claim that different versions of the Magna Carta have been made, but it's not actually, actually possible to change the original version of it because it was supposed to, it made the law apply equally to everybody and you can't change it. <laughs> The law, otherwise it doesn't apply equally to everybody. So, yeah, I get why they've done it though. Like you've got, 
you've got to understand humans and psychopaths and sociopaths mm. haven't you to understand why they're doing it and why wouldn't they yeah. greed and power it's men it's just bloody human nature isn't it yeah. why wouldn't they do it as, as Stacey, sorry, it's like free will got a lot to do with it, though, because you know we say it's all about consent, the legalese, the stuff. It's all it's all done by consent. So yeah. isn't it done? Isn't it done by consent because they can't take away free will? And essentially, that's what Magna Carta could be. It's like is it, is our free will to live our lives, not not necessarily ruled by government, because government should be looking after us and. Yeah, you know, we're doing the ruled by them, the, you, we should be governed by them. Um, but I mean, essentially, yeah, um, we, we essentially consent to be governed because it was supposed to be a fair system of governance, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what governed yeah. by yeah. like you that's why it's always governed by consent and police by consent because yeah, there, there was consent. like we had constitutional safeguards in place that made sure that we were governed fairly. Um, essentially and that they would take account of our constitutional rights but um i mean yeah yeah so so although although about king king john back in the day the magna carta was it was about king john wasn't it that was raping his yeah people, yeah right here, well, and got and yeah it came so, so but it, it, it essentially just stands to anyone is not above the law so government if they're getting out of hand this can be used, this is an act yeah, as mean, far as I'm there wasn't to say. When, when it was created, there was only a monarch. Um, Parliament came oh, in about later. So essentially this was created yeah, yeah. to do like, specifically it was a contract between the monarch and the people. Um, okay. But uh, Parliament came later, but Parliament is just um, a sort of administration service. It, it's not, it was to do the yeah, 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 people's yeah. bidding and the Queen's bidding. It wasn't, it, we were never meant to be ruled. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's probably best if I start from the beginning, because I, I basically, I go around giving talks now, sort of every couple of weeks or something, and I've got a bit of a sort of set, sort of order Narrative. that I go through, if you know what I mean now. Um, so the yeah, idea yeah, yeah. is that we're going to teach, sort of, I'll go through that now, so that you guys hopefully can give that, you know, take that message and, and give it to other people. Um, in the same sort of way. So I, I usually, I mean, obviously you guys will already know something about the Magna Carta, but I would normally just ask, does anybody actually know about the Magna Carta? Because there, there's some who don't, you know, it's not, I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like some religious document. I inherited a copy once and didn't know what it was and I binned it. It's like, I can't believe it now. <laughs> it's like, uh. anyway, so um, yeah, basically the, the Magna Carta, um, came about because of King John, who was a tyrannical ruler. He took everybody's money in the form of taxes and fines. He sent his sheriffs to harass people. He would, you know, just bang people up in jail with no trial. Um, so, yeah, he, he was pretty evil. Um, I, think, I think the thing that was pissing the barons off was he was shagging all the barons' wives. I mean, that's what... Just what them, to know no, but, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what and then they all got together and went, we're not having this. That's what happened. Well, uh, I don't know. Apparently, yes. it's the, French, the French were coming to invade him. It was nothing to do with that state. Well, it might have been it's that so, as well. I've read that several times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've got your form version of it. Um, right, basically... <laughs> um, yeah, the French, the French were coming. The French were going to come and invade. Were invading, and they were going to they were going to take the throne. He was going to lose the throne. Um, so he needed allies. He needed the people to be on his side. So the barons basically, you know, made him agree to this contract. So the the, the people would allow him, you know, follow his orders and, and be governed uh, if if he did so fairly. Um, and that's why the Magna Carta. Um, came about basically and um, it was a contract between the monarch and the people um, it set out how they ought to behave towards each other in order to coexist peacefully um, it was a, a peace treaty if you like um, it enshrined our things like our right to trial by jury innocent till proven guilty no incarceration without trial um, it made it so that nobody was above the law not even the monarch um, so we were governed fairly, essentially, um, for the first time. It, it granted us our sovereignty in that, in that respect, because um, we, we were above, above the rule of another, um, self-governing, if you like. Um, so we used to have a very fair system of governance. 
um, the, the monarch was only supposed to grant assent to any laws or acts or statutes if they complied with our constitutional rights. Um, we were supposed to have common law courts with properly impaneled juries of the people who could not by acts and statutes um, that didn't comply with our rights. Um, and we also had the security clause within the Magna Carta, for if all else failed and the monarch failed to uphold their side of the bargain, we could invoke the security clause and essentially rise up against them and distress and distrain them in any way we see fit um, in order to put peaceful lawful pressure on them to force them to comply with our rights again. So they had to right their wrongs, basically. And then we'd all go back, you know, to just, just the way we were to all being sort of getting on and being governed fairly and living our lives um, because we knew we would be treated a bit fairly again. Um, so, um, yeah, in that sense, we, we, we had a fair system of governance, governance because it, there was a series of checks and balances that, that ensured that, that we were governed fairly because not one single person was in charge of, of, of the way we were governed. We were all in charge of it. We all had to say. So, so we were equal. Um, well, just like some people are saying that King John had to sign it under duress. You know, at sword point or whatever, and that makes it null and void. Like no. that's yeah. what the misinformation going around about. Yeah, is. that's one of the things that they say, and they also say that they try and you know that that he got the Pope to annul it uh, um, in twenty six twelve sixteen, um, but the the Pope had no authority to do that. He's obviously from a different country. He can't mm. and tra change English rules because it, it and laws because it would have been an act of treason for him to do so. So. Anyway, that, that was the way we were supposed to be governed. Um, it, it was, con you know, all of the constitutions are based on the Magna Carta and on, on our system of governance because it was considered to be an exemplary system. Um, you know, a, a lot of the other um, constitutions are all considered treasonous because they don't have the full constitutional safeguards that, that were within our constitution that ensured that we were governed fairly. Um, so the process has gradually been eroded over the years um, by a series, like over a period of hundreds of years. Um, obviously, they, they don't want that, do they? they? They want the powers that be. They want to have full control over us. They, they want to enslave us, effectively. They, they, they want to be in control. They want all the money. They want all the power. They don't want us to, to be equal to them or to be able to to have a say in the rules that we're governed by. So the, uh, it was like a series of subtle changes um, over the course of years within documents and oaths um, for the, the Bill of Rights, for example, um, 1688, 89, assert the Queen's ability to have the final say on any acts and statutes. Um, and she should have the royal prerogative, basically. She should have the final say. Um, so in that way, um, part, who, who part created of, the Bill of Rights then, and why? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you who created it, um, but it's it's another one of our it's another one of our constitutional documents. I mean, it's got some important clauses in there about um, you, you know how well, I think it's the one. I, I get mixed. It says you know that we can't basically be governed by any foreign power. We can't have any foreign power sort of. You but know, it's still not above the Magna Carta, is it? It's, it's still it's, not above No, it. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's another constitutional document. It's not above the Magna Carta, because that was a contract between the monarch and the people. It just sort of adds further laws that we're governed by, if you know what I mean. Mm. So it, it just adds sort of binds the monarch and the government mm. further um, with, with what, you know, what they are allowed to do, basically. So, so basically, they spent 800 years covering this law over with acts and statutes. Like, Mm. Yeah, yeah, so basically, um, you know, it, the, the, we've never had a constitutional monarch. We should have had a constitutional monarch who only, um, you know, governed us um, in, in accordance with our constitutional rights. So the, the Bill of Rights was the first bill that was treasonous, in effect, because it, it made Parliament sovereign. Um, Parliament can't be sovereign. It's an administrative service. It's, you know, people... Um, people have made parliament to carry out administration of the country like building roads and things like that it's you know it's not supposed to be they're not supposed to rule us so basically that asserts the queen's ability to have the final say on acts and statutes so she wasn't able to do her constitutional duties um, so 
in in a way, we're, we're basically we've got to the point where we've nearly lost, we've nearly lost our constitution. We, we've nearly lost all its safeguards and protections, um, which is, you know, we've nearly lost all our rights to be governed fa fairly, um, which is what's brought us to the situation we're in now, um, which is basically where we're back to tyrannical rule again. So. But, but that's like the important thing about the Magna Carta. It was made because of a situation like we're in now and the security clause was specifically made to deal with the situation that we're in now. Now, fortunately for us, um, the security clause was invoked. Oh. Most of you probably know on the 23rd of March, 2001 by the barons, um, who were the Lords and the House of Lords. Um, they're part of a constitutional safeguard, the, the barons that were enshrined in Article 61. They were supposed to oversee the monarch and the running of the country uh, as another, yeah. another constitutional safeguard to make sure that our rights were being adhered to. Um, so uh, it was in both because the Queen committed treason by ratifying the Treaty of Nice. Um, she effectively gave over a huge amount of control um, of the decision-making power of our country into foreign hands. Essentially, Europe were going to be, you know, making rules that she didn't have any say in anymore. Um, and she should basically only do that if she, if we're beaten in outright war, we should never give away control o over our country or, or decisions that are being made about it. Um, so essentially, when Article 61 is invoked, what is supposed to happen is the monarchs dethroned, governments dissolved, all acts and statutes become null and void. Um, and essentially, it says that we should all rise up together and distress and distrain the monarch in any way that we see fit, including seizing um, crown property and assets. So um, it's a bit like a state of emergency or a call to arms, effectively, because the Queen can no longer do her constitutional duty and protect the country and its people. So we have to rise up together and do our constitutional duty and... Um, basically, you know, put pressure on the monarch to right her wrongs. Um, but of course, obviously, that, that's not what happened. <laughs> as, as you can probably tell, it was nearly 20 years ago. Um, it, it should have been dealt with at the time. It should, there should have been a system in place so that we basically, we shouldn't have had to make a Facebook group, you know, to deal with this. So um, nobody knows about Article 61, that's the problem. It was removed from the schooling system. They don't want us to know our rights. It was removed in the 70s. Um, barons were kicked out of Parliament for invoking Article 61. Um, luckily for us, David Robinson realised that Article 61 was in effect back in 2010. So, um, and he, he realised that we could use it to protect ourselves and to fight government treason. Um, David Robinson was trained by Elizabeth Beckett, who's the daughter of a High Court judge. She spent her life fighting against the corrupt authorities. Um, David picked up the fight when he realised in 2010 that Article 61 was in effect and could be used. So he developed an oath and the processes that we use now based on Article 61 and what he'd learned about the law from Elizabeth Beckett. Um, so the way we do things is we take an oath to the barons, they're the lords in the House of Lords. Um, it's a document of <coughs> intent, it, it shows that our intention to uphold the law. Um, we also notify the police and courts of our lawful standing so that they know that we're going to be upholding the law um, because it gives us lawful excuse to break any acts and statutes, so long as we don't break common law, which is do no harm, cause no loss, commit no fraud, keep the peace. Um, it's very straightforward, common sense law that, that you know, common men can understand. It's, it's very simple and straightforward. Um, the lawful excuse works on the premise that it's okay to commit a smaller crime in order for, to prevent a bigger one from being committed. So um, essentially treason is the most serious crime that can be committed. It's more serious than murder. So we have a lawful excuse to do what we need to do in order to be able to prevent that situation from occurring. You know, because essentially our, our country's pretty much been invaded, if you know what I mean. We're, we're all under that. 
um, when treason occurs. So, um, yeah, we must only adhere to common law. Um, common law is, can they still hear me? Yeah. Is to do with how men and women living on the land treat each other. Um, it's based in the Ten Commandments. Um, crimes at common law always have a victim. So, for example, murder is a common law crime. Um, it, it, the laws are unchanging, you know, they, they, go, they go back forever since the dawn of time almost. And, you know, Lawfully killed Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Could you still see us? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to upgrade yeah. it because um, normally it lets me stay on like for hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can, I think we can lawfully kill Boris. Was it? <laughs> well, I mean, there's a common law crime, and we're supposed to adhere to common law, but effectively, you know. Um, anyone who's got him on notice, if he acts against you, is committing high treason, which still carries the gallows. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you're supposed to adhere to common law, but essentially, Article 61 is the highest law in the land and it sort of supersedes all the other laws. So, you know, <laughs> perhaps you could lawfully bump him off, but you know, we, we've got a process that we can use to deal with that. So, we, we'd be better to stick to the law. Um, is it, is, sorry, Julie, is it not just like bumping off Kermit the Frog, though? <laughs> oh, well, maybe yeah, a bit of a puppet. It's, it's, it's just a puppet, it is, isn't it? He is just the puppet. He's not the problem, is he? No. He's not the problem. No, the problem. We're, we're led to believe that these guys govern us, but it's like bollocks. It's just yeah. puppet show. Um, they're, they're, they're doing what they're told from above. Yeah, yeah. They're part of a bigger plan. They, you know, we all know what 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 the story yeah, yeah. is in that sense. So anyway, yeah. So, we, 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 we have lawful excuse to break acts and statutes, which are just rules and regulations which govern our behaviour in specific situations. They're temporary, they can be changed, they don't necessarily apply to everybody, so road traffic acts, just people on the road, education acts, anybody in education. Um, the system of acts and statutes is enforced by the legal system. Um, the legal system is based on admiral law, which is based on Roman canon law, uniform commercial code and contract law. It, it should only, you know, it's to do with trade and commerce, basically. It's to do with businesses. It should only be applicable financially to business corporations that are contracting with each other. Um, it shouldn't be applied to us in a financial sense or, or punishable because, you know, the, the, the crime, the offences if, if you you know if you go against any of those rules and regulations there's no victim you know where, where's the victim who why, why why would why would that be a crime so um it, it's basically the, the way that they've managed to apply it to us financially is um by by defrauding us by our birth certificates and, and surnames basically it's so that they can extort money from us in the form of taxes and fines. Yeah, we're, we're basically when we're born, everybody's watched the straw man, I take it. If you haven't, you really need to yeah. watch the straw man because you won't be able to, yeah. if you're going to hold regular meetups and educate people in your area, you need to know that you need to tell people that they're in a cage. They need to know they're in a cage to get yeah, out of it. Otherwise it's pointless what, telling them about all this. The they can't grasp it. They think they're living in a democracy. And they don't know about the fraudulent <laughs> birth certificate. They need to know about that. So make them watch that first. And then basically we're all declared dead, lost at sea at birth. Well, and not that, not that <laughs> lost at sea, dead. lost not at sea, mar maritime law. Um, yeah. So we, 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 you know, our rights are pretty much signed away by our parents unwittingly. Mm. They don't realise what they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're basically um, sort of entering us. We're being entered fraudulently into a contract with the state um it, it's all to do with the setter k trust funds um you, you are you know the setter k trust funds are for anybody who is lost at sea because remember we're in admiral law here shipping industry um it, it's for anybody who's lost at sea you, you can hand over their assets to the government to be um, held in trust for them for when they come back 
Now, we apparently have money and gold assigned to us at birth that's rightfully ours. Um, so basically, our birth certificate, when, when a ship pulls into harbour, it, it births. Hence why we have a birth so, certificate. Sorry, has everyone got that link in the chat? Just click on that in a minute. We're going into that room. They don't, they've never ever kicked me off. I've never been kicked off Zoom in my life. I've used it in technology meetings for the last five years. It's kicking me Where's off. Where's the link? I don't see it. It's in the chat there. At the side. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Jennifer's letting me use her room. I've never been kicked off in my life. What's that about? Mm. <laughs> so, where's, where's the link? No, I no, still don't see the link. Uh, 